scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega. It's five month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hey guys! Good to see you! Ambassador Nefutu decided to stay on board Sky Lab Omega to learn more about Jesus. And we are just about worn out, trying to keep up with all his questions. He's finally taking a nap, so I thought I would sneak up here and study the Bible so I can get some more answers. Let me get the Bible up right now. Oh, wait, wait, oh. Oh, 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 sorry, I'll pay for that, I'll pay for that, I'm sorry, oh, wait, 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 don't start without me, wait, 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 my friend, my great cheese-eating friend of mine, please don't start without me, I heard the music. Okay, please. calm down, please. I'm calm. I'll I'm find calm. you a story. <sighs> good, good, I hurt myself. Saw away forever for that one. No, but he did get Saul's attention. In a way, he would never forget. Did God send him a text message? Not a quite. Tweet? Or twit, tweety birdo? What? What is it? Carrier pigeon? What? No. Huh? No. But when Saul was on his way to Damascus, he saw a light! The mask. Oh, I forgot my mask. The ma the, the city of Mascus. Was he, was he wearing a mask? Was he sick? No. Damascus, it's a city. Saul thought that he might find some followers of Jesus there. He wanted to throw them in prison. So guess where Saul went? To... Damascus, the city of masks. That's right! Except there were no masks. Well, they call it Mascus. Right. Continue, my little friend. I don't know. So what happened next? Let's have the computer show us. The computer can do that? Oh, yes! Computer, please show us what happened on Saul's journey. Aye, aye, Miss Starlight. As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, 
Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It was not me this time. No, no. God's not talking to you. That's what God said to Saul. Oh, well, the woo-woo, that was a little scary. It almost broke my heart. I probably might need a new one after that. Okay. Imagine how Saul must have felt. He was blinded by the light and fell to the ground. Manfred, man, what would make me so nervous? What did Saul do? He asked, Who are you, Lord? Now listen to what the Lord said. I am Jesus, whom you are prosecuting. He replied, Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. God, God wanted him to go into Damascus? Yes, and when Saul stood up, he couldn't see. So this traveling buddy of his led him to Damascus. Saul waited there for three days. What do you think God was doing with him then? I think he was calling Saul to serve Jesus. But Saul had been hurting God's people. I can't believe that God would give someone like that such an important job. Neither could Ananias. Anna, 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 I thought we were talking about Saul. Who's laryngitis? Not laryngitis, Ananias. He was a follower of Jesus who had a vision. Ananias was afraid of Saul, but in this vision, Jesus told Ananias to place his hand on Saul so Saul could see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Well, if that were me, I would say, no way, Hosanna. That guy Saul likes to pick on Christians like me, and I don't like it. And I'm very sensitive. Ananias didn't want to go either. But let's see what Jesus told him in the virtual Bible. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I do the bleepity bleeps? Please, please, please. Have can a I do blast. It? Oh, goody, goody, goody. <laughs> Ananias, go to see Saul. Ananias. Ananias. He did, and Saul was able to see again. And for the first time in his life, Saul saw Jesus with his heart. How do you know that? Because the Bible says that at once Saul began to preach that Jesus was the Son of God. That's cool. So, God chose Saul to spread his word even though Saul had been a naughty naughty boo-boo. God loves Saul. God had always had a plan for Saul's life. But Saul was a sinner. Are you telling me that God even loves the sinners? God loves all people. And he will forgive and change the heart of Anyone who believes in his son. Well, if God can forgive a naughty boy like Saul, do you do you think he could change my heart? I think he would love to change your heart. Let's go down to the chapel. I can pray with you right now. After all. Oh, oh, wait. Can I see it? Can I see it, please? Go yeah. ahead. Okay, good, good. Jesus is the same on Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, and my birthday. We've got to go work on your Bible verses. So long, kids! Bye-bye, my friends. Have a good day. Come back when you can't stay longer. Ta-ta. See ya. Bye-bye. See ya.